Thanks for choosing Shining 3D EinScan Pro 2X Serial Scanner. In this video, we will introduce how to set up, calibrate, and operate your scanner. First, let's take a look at what is included in the basic module box. Scanner body. Calibration board. Calibration board support. Power cable. Power adapter. Cable clip. Markers remover. Phone screen mount. USB drive. Dango. Industrial pack box includes turntable, USB cable, power cable, power adapter, tripod, scanner head support. Color pack box contains a color module. HD prime pack box contains an HD prime module. First, let's set up the basic module. There are three buttons on the scanner, start, pause buttons, and buttons marked with plus and minus signs. The specific function of these buttons will be described in the following scanning section. Connect the USB cable of the scanner with the interface of the power adapter, and then connect the power adapter with the power cable. Finally, plug the device to the PC's USB 3.0 port. Tear off the back of the sticker on cable clip and place it in position where the USB Automatically. Turn the calibration board as shown in the software. Press the button to start scanning and collecting data.
existing projects, click Open Project. Set the Alignment Mode, Texture, Operating Mode, and Resolution. Features Markers Alignment Mode will evaluate if there is any marker in the first frame. If not, it will use the Feature Alignment and use markers for alignment if yes. Hybrid Alignment is suitable for objects only lacking for features in certain areas where markers needed. Marker Alignment suitable for objects with less feature like the plane or symmetrical surface. Feature Alignment is to align based on surface shape. Next, select the texture. Texture means the color of the surface. If the scanner is installed with a color camera, we can select the scan with texture or non-texture. Choose Operation Mode. We choose Classic for the first time. To learn more about the difference between each mode, please refer to the user manual. The resolution option decides how detailed data we can get. Higher resolution gives better data detail. You can slide the handle on the bar to choose the resolution. Next, we enter the scanning interface. Make sure the scanner cameras look straight to the object and click the start button once to start preview. In the preview, please check the distance bar on the left side. When it shows green, we are in good scan distance. During the preview, double click the start button to change the brightness adjustment. To increase or decrease the brightness by clicking the plus or minus button on the scanner. The brightness is proper when you see the object clear with slight red areas in the camera window. Meantime, check the preview scan data. Good brightness gives you more surface data. Double click the start button again to switch back to zoom in and out. The same method can be used to adjust the brightness during scanning. Click Start button to start scanning. During scanning, keep scanner cameras looking straight to scanning area on the object. Meanwhile, observe the distance indicator on the left side of the software. The distance is proper when it turns green. The scanning is finished. Click Start button again to pause the scan. If you need to continue to scan, go back to the scanned area and click the Start button to continue. If Track Lost message shows, please move the scanner back to the scanned area. Then the software will align it back automatically. Do not scan like this. After the scan is finished, check to see if there are redundant data. Hold Shift and left mouse button to select the redundant data. Selected data will turn into red. You can also hold Control and left mouse button to cancel the selection of the data. Edit the data using the functions on the right side of the software. Click the check mark to finish editing and save the current edit. Click Generate the Point Cloud. There will be an optimization interface if you use feature alignment or hybrid alignment during scanning. If there is a slight misalignment, choose Quality Priority to optimize the point cloud. Please refer to the user manual to learn the difference between quality and speed priority. Now, the data can be saved as ASC format point cloud. If the mesh data is needed, please mesh the data. You will see mesh selection after clicking the mesh button. The software processes the data according to the captured data itself if you choose unwater type. Here comes the data edit window. You can do data editing like simplify, fill holes, smooth and sharpen, Please refer to the user manual for more information. At last, we get an unwatertight data. If you choose watertight, data will be packed into a watertight model. Here come the windows with options. After choosing the detail, the data edit interface will pop up. You can do data editing like simplify, fill holes, Smooth and Sharpen. Click the Save button and choose the file format and save the data. Then there is a scaling window. You can scale the data accordingly. If you are scanning under handheld HD mode with a HD Prime attached, markers are needed. If HD Prime is attached, the scan data can be aligned based on the features when the surface has a unique shape to recognize. 
we will show you an example of scanning a surfboard. Markers are needed for handheld HD mode. Thus, before scanning, we need to stick markers on the object surface without pattern. At least four same markers need to be seen during the whole scanning process ensure data alignment. Markers are applied. You could select handheld HD scan mode to enter scan interface. Select new project or open project if you need to keep working on old ones. Set the resolution. High resolution gives better detail. Next, we are entering the scan interface. Same as rapid mode, make sure cameras look straight at the scanned surface. Start previewing by clicking start button. Observe the distance indicator on the left of the software. The distance is proper when it turns green. During the preview, double click the start button to change the brightness adjustment. Increase or decrease the brightness by clicking the plus or minus button on the scanner. The brightness is proper when you see the object clear with slight red areas in the camera window. Meantime, check the preview scan data. Good brightness gives you more surface data. Double click the start button again to switch back to zoom in and out. The same method can be used to adjust the brightness during scanning. Click start button to start scanning. During scanning, keep scanner cameras looking straight to scanning areas on the object. Meanwhile, observe the distance indicator on the left of the software. The distance is proper when it turns green. When the scanning is finished, click start button again to pause the scan. If you need to continue to scan, go back to the scanned area and click the start button to continue. If track lost message shows, please move the scanner back to the scanned area. Then the software will align it back Depends on the size of the object to use the turntable or not. Generally, we suggest using turntable when the size is less than 200 millimeters. You could set the turntable steps to turntable scan mode to set the number of scans. Meanwhile, it has three align mode under turntable scan mode. It aligns based on white coded markers on the turntable. If you select turntable coded markers to align, thus, the object shall not cover too many coded markers on the turntable. It is based on the geometric features of the object to align if the select features align mode. It is based on the markers of the object to align if you select markers to align. If the object has little features, markers align is recommended. All three align modes are referring to data align of the scans in one turn. For multiple turns, the software will use markers or feature to align groups of data. Adjust distance and angle by adjusting the tripod. With distance change, the focus of the cross projected will change and the sharp cross indicating good distance. After angle change, scanner need to be able to see most of the coded targets. Adjust the brightness while observing the camera window. A good brightness setting is that you can see slight red on the camera windows. Too much red indicating overexposure. For objects with both dark and bright areas, like a panda, you can enable HDR. Click Start Scan on the right side to begin. The turntable will turn automatically. 
and software will align data. If there are redundant data, hold Shift and left mouse button to select the redundant data. Selected data will turn into red. Click the check mark to finish editing and save the current edit. Not enough data now. We can turn the object to do another turn. Again, you can use Shift and left mouse button to select and delete. Click check to finish and software will align data with the former turn. To collect small areas where having missing data, we can do fix scan on a certain angle. Just uncheck with turntable. Adjust the object angle to collect areas missing data. Click start to begin the scan. Click on check mark and data will be aligned. Having at least one third of the same scanned area with former scan allow you to successfully align. If misalign occurred, select manual align. Two groups of data will appear. Select three pair of points on both models of the same location to align. If you save now, you can only get a point cloud. To get mesh data, you need to mesh first. Check rapid mode for mesh setting. For object larger than 200 mm, but still need to be scanned with fixed scan, you can uncheck with turntable to scan. Having at least one third of the same scanned area with former scan allow you to successfully align. You can switch between two modes freely. Transparent, reflective, or some dark objects cannot be directly scanned. Spring powder may be required. Do not suggest scan soft or fluffy object. Thanks for buying EinScan Pro 2X Plus Scanner. Here's our contact information, in case you have any questions. Please check out our website for more information.